What's up guys? So today I'm going to be talking about food costs, basically relating to your budget. I do know that a lot of people have different jobs. Uh, some people are out over the road and so they can't help but to constantly buy stuff that's at uh, takeout or uh, at fast food restaurants or junk food that's at, you know, gas stations. Um, and then I do know that some people are too busy to be able to cook. Um, there's just, there's a lot of different scenarios. So, um, Baby step one, which is the most important uh, step I want to say in starting your Dave Ramsey journey because it means that you're actually going to commit, is to set aside $1,000. Now, a lot of people who are living paycheck to paycheck, who are just getting by on bills, the first thought you're going to have is, how on earth do I even save or set anything aside? I've never had anything extra. There are certain ways uh, that you can cut down if you really look at them. Um, and if it's not possible at all, the second option is to uh, get what they call a side hustle. Uh, so an extra job, whether it be like a direct sales or just anything at all that can bring in some more income. Because if your income is so low that you can't set anything aside uh, because your bills are so high even, um, then yes, you need to increase your money. Uh, so a big area that a lot of people can relate to is food and food cost. There are a lot of people who... Um, automatically they don't want to, it, it's kind of a human thing to not want to suffer at all. So it's like, you know, I get off work, I'm dead tired. It's just, I, I'm just so tired and I worked hard today. I deserve to just go grab something to eat and not cook. Yes, it takes effort. Yes, it's very tiring, but it's, that's what this is. This whole thing's about. It's about having effort and having to put forth that extra thing. Um, so Derek and myself, Derek's my husband, uh, we actually are over the road, and so our only option is to get fast food, um, and we're actually in an expediting truck, which is shorter. It's about the length of two cars, so if we go into like an Aldi's or Myers or Walmart or anything, we can just park into a spot that has two across from each other. So we actually do have the option of being able to go to grocery stores and get some food. Um, semi, other semi trucks don't have that option. So they kind of have to, you know, wait until the weekend or when they're resetting and maybe get an Uber ride or, or something, you know, they have to figure that out. And then another issue is if they have a, a refrigerator or not. So there's a couple of different things. So what I wanted to share today is just something that we've done so far to be able to, uh, cut down our grocery bill. We actually are very blessed with having a, um, a microwave, a uh, convection, like, you know, cooktop um, in our truck and a fridge. So we can actually go to the store and get food and be able to cook while we're over the road, which helps so much with like health and food costs. But I just kind of wanted to leave, give you guys um, uh, kind of a realization of how much truck stops overprice things. Just a small, tiny example. I drink vitamin water. I'm not sponsored. But um, if you want to, vitamin water, I love dragon fruit. <laughs> but one of these, just one at a truck stop is 349 to 368 for one. If you go to Walmart and you get a pack of six, so that's six of these, it's 468. That's a huge difference and a big amount of money that you can save just by getting these at you know a grocery store as opposed to at a truck stop. Um, and I highly suggest if you are not over the road and you kind of want to even have an idea of how, how much truckers are nickeled and dime, step into a truck stop and just any little thing that you usually get, go see how much it costs at a truck stop. And it's, it's, it's awful. <laughs> it's really ridiculous. But, um, even going to a truck stop, Derek and I, we used to always get a sandwich each. And so that would be our one meal of the day. Uh, cause we had guacamole in the car, which was, or in the car, in the truck, uh, which was a good healthy fat. So we would actually add that to the sandwich, take off the bun and put it in a bowl and eat that. Um, his sandwich would be seven to $8 alone just for the sandwich. Mine would be five or six, depending on if I wanted like lettuce and tomato and all that stuff. And so we would generally with tax and everything, we would spend about 15 bucks. And sometimes like when we first started, we were getting two meals a day, so we were spending about 30 bucks a day, um, and 
our goal. And then if you imagine getting energy drinks, if we needed them, um, or water or anything else, our goal was to spend less than $28 a day, which averaged to about $200 a week. So we had budgeted 800 bucks a month. And if there's anybody out there who is watching this and is not a trucker and is thinking, oh my gosh, that is so much money. That's how much these truck stops cost and like all the food like for takeout and everything. Um, so anyways, what we started to do, uh, for instance, if you get a dozen eggs at Aldi's, it's 58 cents right now. 58 cents, that's it. So for one meal, Derek has six eggs and then I eat three. And then we take a pack of like the thick bacon from Aldi's. Obviously, you guys know I really like Aldi's. Uh, if you don't have Aldi's near you, I feel so bad for you. <laughs> but um, we take a big thing of bacon and if you cut it in half, because it's so much easier to cook that way, um, on a half portion, there's usually um, between uh, 14 and 16 strips in it. So we would each get seven or we would each get eight. Um, and so that would be a meal for us. Uh, we get seven or eight, you know, pieces, which actually end up being, you know, like three and a half or four regular pieces of bacon each. Um, and then the eggs. And then sometimes I would eat it with like guacamole and stuff, but like the, or keto also. So the bacon's also a fat. So anyways, um, so if you take that cost for that meal, which fills us up pretty good, um, it, it's, a fraction of how much a meal would cost if we would just go to uh, to get something to eat so um, I highly suggest looking into and there's so many videos on YouTube I might do a couple of videos myself when we're home one week um, so then I can show you guys what I do if I'm prepping meals um, but there's food prep videos so that you can buy in bulk make some meals freeze them or, you know, just have them have enough meals for the next couple of days that will save you money to have it, you know, if you have a fridge in your truck or if you're home, um, instead of constantly ordering out. And like, I know that with COVID we do want to support small businesses, but it's kind of like, you know, you can't fill a gas tank if you have no gas yourself. Um, so you have to take care of yourself first. So you have to make sure that you are working on getting out of debt, working on your finances, before you help others. Um, it's just, you'll be able to help them so much more um, after you take care of yourself first. It's kind of like motherhood, you know, mothers need to really take care of themselves, you know, before they can um, be able to help others, which a lot of people neglect themselves. Um, but I mean, there's already enough stress on them. So I love mothers anyways. Um, <laughs> so definitely look at your budget for food. Um, try not to eat out as much. Try to do bulk. Um, try to come up with different meals and, and uh, look at the cost of them, how much they are. Uh, pop is really expensive now or soda or Coke, whatever you call it. Um, so that would definitely be another area to look into. This is a treat for me. So Derek and I have a little, um, this is part of our budget, is uh, if we don't drink an energy drink then we're allowed to have two of these and these I think I I figured them out to be like 52 cents each so it'd only be a dollar instead of an energy drink which if we got it at the grocery store it's a dollar 98 if we get it at a truck stop when they're having a deal it's 225 each but usually it's like three something um, so it all depends uh, constantly be on the lookout for ways to save money um, so that's just a little insight um, to what we do. We've been cooking in the truck. I've been doing the eggs and bacon uh, meal. And then there's another meal I do, um, which I do beef. And I, uh, I cook that up, put taco seasoning in it. I saute onions and peppers and then put that in it. And then we have guac packs, which we put that in it. And I put cheese in mine. Derek's staying away from cheese. Um, and then that's a good, you know, keto meal and when you cook like a bunch of it, like you get a lot of leftovers and it ends up being um, not too far off from, or not, it saves you money. It ends up saving you some money. Um, as far as, you know, instead of going to um, a fast food and not knowing what's in your food and you know, all that stuff. So I hope this helped. Uh, leave a comment and let me know if you know any channels that have good, uh, good like meal prep you know to help each other out let me know how 
uh, what baby step you're on, if you are doing the Dave Ramsey process, what you guys did to help you save up the baby step number one, which is to save up um, $1,000 in emergency fund. But if you make, I think it's if you make less than 20000 a year, then you have to save up 500 for the, you know, for baby step one before you move to baby step two. Um, and then if anybody else has any of the hacks or anything else they want to add, uh, I definitely want to leave comments open for helping each other out on this. So thanks for watching. If you're not subscribed, make sure you, um, if you'd like to follow, uh, hit the subscribe button. There's also a bell, so then you'll get notifications. I'm on Instagram, which is Cinnamon's channel. Um, yeah, Cinnamon's channel. <laughs> and then on Facebook, it's uh, Cinnamon YouTube. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day and enjoy the rest of your week. And hopefully you're getting as many warm days as possible before the winter sets in. <laughs> so, all right, thanks guys.